What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something you like in this video, don't forget to subscribe at some point while you're watching this. For those of you that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, this is something that I've been meaning to do for about a week now. Uh, ended up doing the Superman from Gentleman's Nod and Zaharoff last shave. Well, this shave is what last shave was actually supposed to be. So, I've heard all the hype around this one. I've seen a ton of videos. It's fruity batch of Aventus. It's cheap. It's a really good brand to really get started with. They have a lot of options. So, figured I would get my hands on Emperor from Razorock. Actually, I'll put all the products right here, show you what all is being discussed in this video, actually. Because I did just get out the shower. It is late in the evening on Sunday. And uh, so the time you'll see this will be on Monday. I already did my weekly rotation for the week. Uh, but I did actually take a shower with this from Central Obsessions. This is their formulation of Aventus. This is a liquid black soap. I'll put the ingredients for that right here if you want to check that out. So I got to say, Right off the get, the scent's not real strong, but it lathers real nice and it left my skin feeling really good. Uh, I reached out to Kevin over at Essential Obsessions because I know Razzle Rock Emperor is real popular in the wet shaving community. And I said, you know what, I could probably really put something real good together. And since the aftershave splash and the shave soap are fruity batches of Aventus, I know the beard oil from Essential Obsessions, if I can get this to focus. There we go. See how it says Aventus on the bottom? And the shave soap are smoky batches of Aventus. So that, in my mind, would balance out pretty well. And just for a finishing touch sort of thing, I grabbed from Central Obsessions. Uh, I mean, I already had this. Their, their formulation of double Aventus, which this is a smoky batch of Aventus, as well as Aventus Cologne, which is fruitier and lighter. So it's actually pretty well balanced. This is actually one of my favorite... Aventus inspired fragrances or Aventus clone if you will. So Still using my Harry's cartridges because like I said, I had just bought a box of them So it'll be a little bit before I switch to safety razors. So for now, you just got to bear with Me using the cartridges. I do have my synthetic Van der Hagen brush soaking just to soften it up a little bit more and Need to matter of fact, I need to go ahead and dump that. Let's go ahead and get this water out of here Leave just a little bit in there. Go ahead and wring out the brush a little. That is definitely wet enough to get a little bit of soap. So obviously this isn't my first time smelling it. Since I, as soon as I got it, I opened it up. Oh yeah, and you definitely get a lot of pineapple in that. It smells incredible. As you can see, I have not used it yet. It just smells so good. I gotta say, I see why it's popular because for $12.99, I mean it's kind of hard to beat if you like Aventus inspired scents. Um, and I will have Essential Obsessions in the li link in the description below if you'd like to check out some of their beard oils, which I do have their formulation of Andy Warhol as well. Aftershave lotions, the luxury scented, custom scented soaps that they have, and uh, as well as their fragrances. That's the bread and butter. Um, and of course, I'll have Italian Barber linked below if you want to get your hands on any of the Razzle Rock products or specifically the Emperor stuff that we're talking about today. So I do have quite a bit loaded up on the brush. So I think we're good with that. And I got quite a bit in there. Um, and my buddy Neil over at Mr. Miami Cuddles told me a little quick tip was run my finger around the edges after I, after I load my brush get that little bit extra to put in my bowl. So shout out to you, Neil. I appreciate the little tip. Made complete sense to me when he told me that. I said, hey, why not get a little bit extra in there and maybe I'll get a little bit thicker lather than I tend to get normally. And we're just gonna make a little soap. I'll be right back, guys. coming out pretty well in a really good consistency. I'm going to just go a little bit longer, thicken it up a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I've got a pretty good consistency if I can get it to focus with the lather. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. That will be plenty. Oh my God, that smells so good. 
to say the very least. So we're going to just go ahead and let me just toss some of the bulk of this on here and we're going to go ahead and paint this head and get our shave going. Get some of this excess off these edges. Whew. Got soap everywhere. Gotta tell you what, this does smell really good. Like I said before, I see why this is so popular for the price. You know, I'm not saying there isn't better out there. I'm sure somewhere an artisan has made an even better inspired by Creed Aventus shave soap and aftershave splash but for the money i could see this being very very hard to beat to say the very least stuff smells great and once again i got more growth than i should have i uh, i'm bad about letting my hair go longer than i should So much extra on the brush. The rest of that in there. Okay. So, grab my cartridge, and here we go. I know this really upset a few people last time that I had the water running because that's i've been doing that for years and years and years i know you hear the water run right now so i'm going to do this to appease the few that complained about the sound of the water in the video and i'm just going to fill the sink up a little bit so i can rattle around the razor i've just always had the water running and tap and go it's just it's what it is because i shaved my head too so it's a lot more hair than just shaving your face with two or three days of growth so for those of you that complained about it here you go all right I gotta say, the glide is not as good as Strike Gold or Gentleman's Nod. I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not saying there's friction, but it's definitely a different feel. It smells great. <laughs> it smells great and the price is right. I mean, for $12.99, very difficult to beat, you know. I'll tell you what, it definitely smells really, really good. But Overall, the feel is nothing special. It's definitely showing its price point, in my opinion. Now, I know some of you are going to say, oh, the lather wasn't quite thick enough. I get all that. You know, maybe I could have loaded a little bit more because I do have a lot of surface area that I'm covering. I understand that. So maybe I need to load a little bit more soap. Next time, I mean, like I said, I just started using shave soaps. This is relatively new for my world. Predominantly review fragrances, but I've been shaving my head for so long, it really piqued my interest to do stuff like this. After seeing a lot of different videos, Tim the Scented Sh Soldier Shaves, I know Neil, Miami Cuddles, he's real big in this community, Scott, 504 Man Fragrance Reviews. This is kind of their world I'm dipping my toe into, you know? Boy, but my head is nice and smooth. Jesus. It's got a few little stubble spots, and that's it. All right, so that's all she wrote for that portion. Line up my beard real quick. Tell you what, just like the last video, there's a horror off and gentleman's nod video. When this is said and done, I'm smelling incredible. 
all these products I have at my disposal that are versions of Aventus. Some smokier than others, some fruitier than others, some blended and balanced. Put them together, mix them in harmony. I have a feeling it's going to smell great. This is my first time using all of these products, minus the fragrance. The shower gel, the beard oil, the soap, the aftershave splash, this is all my first time using it. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, we're back, cleaned up, I am nice and nice and smooth just like I like it. That's one of the reasons I really like the Harry's cartridge with those multi blades. It really comes out good on my head. It contours very well. I don't have to be as careful as you see if you've watched this video and others. Obviously you're watching this video. I go on the back of my head with reckless abandon to get the bulk. <clears throat> so now I'm going to bust out the Emperor aftershave splash and I didn't cut myself so I shouldn't have any sting. Got a very good restrictor on it. We'll see what the smell is all about. It's got a little bit of sting in a couple of spots, but hey, I'm cool with that. Just lets me know it's doing its job. Oh yeah, that smells incredible. That smells better than the soap. The soap smelled very good, very fruity. A lot of pineapple in the soap. Man. Oh yeah. Some good stuff right there. Hmm. This might be my new favorite aftershave. <laughs> it smells incredible. Whew. The scent strength's not amazing, but the scent is. I gotta say, for an aftershave splash, it's everything it needs to be. All right, so next, we're gonna bust out this Aventus Beard Oil from Sensual Obsessions. If I can get the camera to focus, there we go. Let's see just how many drops I'm gonna need. I'm gonna put a little bit more than last time because I had to do a second application last time. That should be plenty. I'm just gonna massage up into the hair. Get the oil in there. Wow, yeah, this smells. Wow. Yeah, pineapple and the birch are popping in this beard oil. I don't know if it's because it's mixing with the shade, but it's pretty potent to be honest with you. That's another thing. These beard oils from Central Obsessions. Just like the Andy Warhol one. This stuff is popping. Get the excess off my hand real quick. My hands. Titanium beard comb. Massage up a little bit more. Comb it on down. Oh yeah. This smells amazing really does now as far as taming it it's not taming it quite as well and obviously it could if I would apply a little bit more let's do one more application just to make sure we get enough oil to really tame it maybe a little bit less than last time I'm gonna do more on the sides than I did on the front okay get the excess off Sometimes you just gotta add a little more. Less is more. You never wanna just go in, put a whole bunch, and now it's dripping and you look greasy, and nobody likes that, nobody wants that. So, oh yeah, much better. Needed a little bit more on the sides. Much more tame. I don't know how many of you that watch me have a decent sized beard. I don't have a giant beard by all means, but my beard is long enough to get wild. That's why I have to shampoo and condition it every day with my Bulldog products, my daily beard wash and shampoo and conditioner that I use. And I don't know if let me get close like last time. You can see the amount of shine. Did tame it pretty well. It's not perfect, but definitely a lot better than the first application. And I'll tell you what, the smell, that's a hell of a, that, that could be a finishing touch on its own, but instead, this is going to be the finishing touch. We're going to get a couple of sprays to the chest. Real big sprays. And yeah, why not? We'll one across the shirt. 
Oh, it smells so, so good. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried Essential Obsessions formulations of different things, uh, prime example, here's the aftershave lotion for their version of Bond, Bond number 9 Andy Warhol. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Bond number 9 Andy Warhol. Stuff's incredible. The formulations that Kevin uses are, they're not all spot on. Some are 90%, some are 75%, some are 80%, but they get the job done. If you let them macerate, they project pretty well, last pretty long, and they're very cheap, to say the very least. So that covers all the products that I wanted to use from a Ventus smelling shower gel to a Ventus smelling shave soap, a Ventus smelling aftershave splash, a Ventus smelling beard oil, and then a Ventus fragrance at the very end. So I'll leave all the ratings for all the products right here for you guys to take a look at. Take a look at. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I absolutely love the therapeutic side of doing these shaves. This is just a little different from usual because I'm actually talking to a camera, whereas normally I'm just looking straight ahead, just doing my thing, get in, get out. But that, I mean, nothing is different about my ritual than with the camera on or the camera off. And I appreciate those of you that stop by to watch and check it out and all the helpful tips since I am dipping my toe into this. But I um, hope you appreciate the rating system. That's just how I feel because I do feel like I have a pretty good nose. I mean, that's why I review fragrances. Um, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Um, how many of you have tried some of these products? I'm sure Emperor from Razzle Rock isn't anything new for most of you, but some of these products from Sensual Obsessions may be. And like I said, links are in the description below for Italian Barber and Sensual Obsessions if you want to check out some of these products. I'm not paid in any way. Um, it's good stuff, I gotta say. And uh, until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of these, you give them a try. Who knows? You might just thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.